Well, good morning, guys. So today I thought I'd take you around and show you what's going on in the garden. Um, the last time I showed you... The... All right, now. Uh, most of the seeds that I had planted were pretty old, so a lot of things didn't take. So I started some seeds. And then two days later, we went out to our local swap meet and we found six packs, which I don't know about your area, but in my area, at any of the stores, you cannot find six packs. And they want like four dollars for one plant. So anyway, we found six packs of several different things for four dollars. Dang goose. So anyway, I bought some tomatoes and onions and several different kinds of peppers and some cucumbers and several different things. So anyway, I got them from the garden and I'll show you what's going on with those. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. And as you can see, my blackberries that I transplanted this year are doing very well. And then you'll see here where I planted some peppers. And these first ones, those are Anaheim peppers. And then over here, uh, that's the one I think I already had on there, the whether not a pino or culapino, whatever, heatless jalapeno. And then I planted some cayennes. They're doing very well. These came out of those six packs about a week, week and a half ago. And I don't know if you can see that. That is my black uh, blueberry, brand new one. So we'll, I'm hoping it'll take off. Anyway, so down here, there's a lot of things that didn't take here. Um, mostly the ground cover type stuff that I put in. So, like that there is some beets. But you can also see that is a yellow squash. And there's another one there. That's the only two squash that I planted that came up. Then if you go, and by the way, these are, I'm going to take all of the peppers that I bought at the swap meet. I'm planting one of each kind, so I have them ready here, in uh, the pots, either there or in some of these, not sure which yet, probably probably in those because I want to be able to take them inside and overwinter them but anyway so there's some peppers some more tomatoes some onions I got to get this stuff planted today and then these are the seeds that I started and again these were very old seeds so it looks like Look like the cabbage came up, some more yellow squash, um, some cauliflower came up, I don't know if you can see those, um, a little bit of the broccoli came up, and then my corn, because all of the corn that I planted in my corn patch the birds got to the seeds before they could start growing. Out of, uh, I think it was 30 seeds, I had three plants come up. So I'm going to transplant these over there. I might give them another week before I do that. Okay, so this little fenced-in area over here is what I was talking about for my corn. You see I have a fence all the way around it. That was to keep the dogs out. Turns out the birds were more of a problem than the dogs were. But, I have to get in here and get up all this grass and weeds that came up. But, there is only, as you can see, one, two, 
and three. Those are the only corn that came up. And then you'll see, see these here? This is the starting of these trees. See all those white petals down there? Every single one of those can make a new tree. If you don't stay up on top of it, it becomes a real pain in the rear. Which is why, when I first got here and started gardening, my garden was on this side, all the way up and down the fence line. And that just became too much of a problem. And that was when I moved my garden way back over there behind the ducks and the geese. So. But on the other side of this same bed, on the trellis, these were seeds. <laughs> these first ones here are all green beans. All the way down to that white pole. Everything on this side of the pole is green beans. And everything on the other side of the pole, as you can see there, is cucumbers. So not all of them came up, but a good majority of them did, so I'm happy with that. And then over here, you'll see, this is an old, let's see if I can back up a little bit. That is an old bed frame from a bunk bed where the bottom was a full size and the top was a twin. So I just turned it up sideways like that. That is an old shelf that was starting to fall apart. The wood's not in bad shape, but you know, everything was just not connected very well. The nails and screws giving out. So anyway, I just filled it with dirt and I put in some Let's see, these first ones are Armenian cucumbers. And then those bigger ones over there are Japanese cucumbers. And then right in front of them, I did plant one cell from those onions to see how they would do here. So that's cool. All right, so then over here, I might need to be where I can see the labels. All right, it looks like virtually none of the okra and Brussels sprouts and, oh, I can't remember what else I planted down there. I'd have to look. But it looks like none of that, oh, I think it was broccoli and cauliflower. None of it came up. But, all the radishes are doing very well. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Right there. That, I'm going to pull it. That is a white radish. So those are doing well. And on that end is some of the red radishes. Those are all doing very well. So that's nice. And then I did have one of the six packs of the tomatoes that I planted intertwined here with the radishes. And then on this side you'll see these are uh, these are the Fresno chilies from the six packs that I planted. And there's a few of the mes mescaline lettuce that are trying to come up. All right, goose, that's enough. <laughs> anyway, this one, um, I had planted the hot salsa blend, but it doesn't look like it came up, so I put some cayenne peppers in there, just three of those. And again, some more of the mescaline and stuff. It was a mix coming up. So I got the same thing there. And then these peppers are some New Mexico, uh, just New Mexico peppers. None of my jalapeno seeds germinated. 
as I said, almost all of my seeds were probably four or five, six years old. So I didn't really expect a whole lot to come up. And then on this side, on the back we have uh, the Thai peppers, and in the front I have some cherry peppers. All right, I bought a another pomegranate tree. I have one, but pomegranate's probably our favorite, and so I got another one. And then this one is boysenberry. So now I will have three different types of berries, so I gotta get those planted. And as you will notice, I find it funny when you're watching other people's videos, how beautiful and clean and weed free and all that their gardens seem to be. And I don't know about you, but that's just not realistic. For most of us, this is the reality. Battling weeds and grass like crazy. I just weed eated this this morning, the walkways. So I'm just doing the best I can to battle that stuff. But like I said, I don't know why all the videos that I watch show such perfect gardens. And it seems like no matter what I do, I have weeds and grass everywhere. So anyway, that's what's going on in the garden out here. And then you will see on a video soon, see I already started on it, as I said that's on another video. This is going to be my companion planted strawberries and asparagus. So that's what that is for. Okay, so that is the update on the garden. Today is Tuesday, April 5th. I think things are coming along nicely. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next one.